Hey guys, welcome back. Today, the goal is we are going over to that compound that we found where I meant to pick up the military backpack, but I didn't. So I'm going to do my daily chores here, harvest some cabbages, and I'm going to make my butt over there. Uh, and we're going to kill some zombies and hopefully find some chances at books. I have high hopes. High hopes for that area. Okay, I uh, have not made it there. I got close before I got accosted by some of the locals here. So we have to fight our way in to get over there. This is usual. There's usually a pack or two down here that have wandered in from the nearby buildings and such. You know how it is. Uh, but one thing I was wondering is should we go up this way or should we continue on down so technically technically i've cleared up through here i mean technically it doesn't mean it's necessarily safe and all that um actually maybe it's a good thing to come up here i'm not oh boy you know i'm not entirely sure if we should be coming up here or not so we know we haven't been in there Take a look at that door. So that is definitely blocked. Someone's behind me. Oh, he might have been in that building. Pizza World and that. We don't necessarily care about either of those buildings. There's a pack of zombies in there. Uh, oh, I did check the car... What was it? Car 15 Omega Super Beta Delta Rifle. Uh, I actually have the rifle plus uh, four full magazines for that particular weapon. So, uh, quite a bit, quite a bit, quite a bit. Ooh, I missed. So if we want to use that gun, uh, we definitely could. We definitely could. Alright. Let's get on over here. Let's get our butts over here. Take a look at this stuff. What do we got? Let me pause the game real quick. Actually, let me zoom and pause. Just want to see what we got going on here. Looks like these, so this is like, uh, I see basketball court and playground. So that's a part of those apartment complexes. Okay. Got a few in the burger joint. They must have wandered in there. Cause we've been, we've been kind of, you know, walking through here a few times. So it's honestly to be expected, to be expected. There's one more. There is an office building there. Generally, I haven't had great luck with the office building, so I'm not sure. I'm just not sure if I have a desire. A desire to go in there. Uh, I just don't think there's going to be, like, chances for books and stuff, you know? Like. I mean, maybe there is on the upper floors or something. Maybe there is. You never know. But uh, it just feels like... It just feels like there isn't going to be. Um, I'm lost. Where am I? What is this building? Where the heck am I? Yeah. Let's stop the old map. Oh, this is the police station. I was curious because I can see what appears to be like a boiler system on the outside, which is interesting. So we actually want to come up through here and go through those. Uh... God, I got lost already. Yeah, we want to come up here. Oh, we got quite a, Ooh, quite a few zombies. All right, zoom back in. We got quite a few zombies. Uh, and we're going to poke our way in. Now, uh, we want to keep an eye out. We are going to come across military zombies in here. Uh, I'm not necessarily after military clothing uh, because that's what everybody does. Everybody always goes to the military clothing. We're not going for military clothing, but I do want that backpack because the backpack kicks butt. Uh, none of the other backpacks are as good. So we're going for the backpack. That's a for sure. Maybe... No, because I have a helmet. I do have a helmet. There was a... I'm not going to worry about it. There's a military zombie right there. We're not going to worry about it. Uh, we're just going to focus on clearing. Specifically, backpack. Uh, and then we want to... There's another backpack right there. 
Wow, look at him pouring out of there. Check that out. I might have to use some beta blockers up in here because I've noticed uh, while zombies are sort of banging on those bars, uh, my character gets panicked. I'm not sure. Ooh, I actually don't know if I have that particular gun. Okay, I missed. I missed my shot. We'll just keep backing up. There's another backpack. <laughs> Quite a few military zombies in there. Lucky us. Okay. So, we've got a boy here. Large backpack. So this one is actually a little bit worse. That's curious. Didn't know that. I had no idea. Um, there's a few very rare items that I I may potentially grab if I see them. The uh, civilian uh, bulletproof vest. If I happen to come across that in here somewhere. I have to kill these zombies. Ugh. They're not going to give me a moment to loot. Oh, I didn't equip a knife. Whoops. So he's up here. I don't have time. He's right below me, but I don't have time to loot because there's just a ton of zombies coming in. Just a ton of boys and girls. Uh, yeah, 87. I was right. So this one's slightly better. The other one was 80, 87, 28, 27, 85. Yeah, it's for some reason the military one is just slightly better, huh? Isn't that weird? So those guys are all stuck. Curious. Um, I might throw down it's touch belt, right? I might throw down some beta blockers before going in there. So this is where oh, isn't that cool? I love seeing that little detail. There's a little window. Love seeing that. There's another military backpack that I didn't loot because I this is the one I mistakenly left. Oh, cool. Garage door. Love it. Love it. So I'm going to do something really stupid. Bust out the gun. Gilly suit, boy. I'm sure that's just riddled with holes because he's a dead zombie. Woo! All right. Now we're talking. Um, so let me... Let me push through these guys and get up here, because uh, I have sort of trapped myself. Okay, so we've got uh, just a got just a bullet. Holy freaking bejesus, we've got more zombies than I expected. Uh, that may have been an actual calculated mistake on my part, um, but I will get to work. Uh, we fired a gun, and here you are now seeing the reason that I was not firing guns previously. Uh, <laughs> here's the reason. We've got a ton of zombies everywhere. Oh, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. No problem. No problem. I have absolute faith. I have the utmost faith in this. Jackie is a monster. She can do this. We need to level up uh, something else. Long blunt. The short blunt just doesn't seem to be enough damage, maybe. Another bunny. Oh, 
How many are following? Actually, not that many. Legitimately, oh, it's getting foggy. Yeah, not that many. I thought there'd be a lot more than this following. It looks like a lot of them uh, kind of fell off, I think. So we'll just uh, kill this pack, rest up, and move back. Oh my god, stab the freaking zombie. Come on, Jackie, stab the zombie. Knife, zombie head. Knife to zombie head. You can do it. Focus. Focus on the stabbing. Focus on the stabbing. Stamina is still good. And the joys of using a knife. If you're ever curious about the stamina usage, uh, my fourth bar to the right, down there, counting from the left, is my stamina. Or endurance. I don't know what the, this game calls it. Uh, and you can just kind of watch of all these zombies we kill, how slow it goes down while wielding the knife. Uh, if we to bust out our night stick or our crowbar, uh, the bad boy go down a lot faster than that. Actually, it goes down much faster if I miss and have to shove. Hopefully, we're not going to do that. Oh, last time I fought near a car, I got freaking lacerated. And that was almost the end of the series. We've been lacerated twice, but both times we got lucky. Only bad part is I gotta sit here and play four days while I'm doing nothing but fishing and <laughs> not getting anything done, which is annoying. I don't like doing that. It's just sit here and play out and waste days. It's like, ugh, we could be looking for a generator magazine or, you know, anything, really. We're just about exhausted. This is the car right here, too. I have the key for this stupid car. I'm just kind of tapping speed up, keeping an eye out. Okay, we're good. All right, let's throw down a cabbage and we'll head back into that area over there. Um, 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 um we need to, uh, we need to pick up a few knives. This is my last knife that I've got on me, so. Uh, we'll probably find them as we're going here. Cheap survival knife. I'll grab it. I really don't want to use the cheap knives, though, because they suck. Well, they don't suck, but compared to everything else, they, they blow. Uh, this is, I think, the first double holster I found. Oop. Grandma. Grandma's trying to bite me. Uh, holster. Holster. Throw that in the ground. Okay. Insert. We'll reload all our magazines while I'm checking corpses here. Making our way back up. So we're carrying around a few rounds. I've got a few magnum rounds. Uh, not too much. Uh, it actually looks like I used all of them. That's okay. Um, I'll, fire, I'll probably fire the gun when we get up there again. Just a little bit closer. I don't want to fire it over here because I don't want to pull zombies from the southern, um, what is that? I think it's an office building. I don't want to pull zombies from that necessarily. I want to pull the zombies from these buildings in particular. And firing the gun is, is just the, the best, wow, just the best way to go about it, honestly. Okay, so... Check these corpses, because we are on the lookout for some knives. Some knives. What was that I saw? Oh, military sweater. Problem is, I'm walking towards the right side of my screen, and that's where the, <laughs> that's where the loot is. It's kind of annoying. I actually can't remember, do I have a bulletproof vest? Because the bulletproof vests are pretty good insulation. Kitchen knife. Wait. I had it. I had it backwards. What is? What is that? Swimming goggles. I had my um. I had the categories backwards. I actually may have missed a few knives. I didn't realize it was backwards. I'm actually not sure why it's backwards. I Was it because I was looking for the, the bunny gear the last time? 
Usually I have the alphabetation reversed so that weapons show up in the top category. She's got a knife. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. There is a knife on that spear, but whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna go up here, fire the gun a few times. So these are all the ones that were kind of, when they can't see me, they kind of just wander off, so. Oop, it's jammed. I didn't realize it was jammed. Jammed again. Wow. Okay, let me reload before, because I'll forget to reload it. Then we'll bust out the knife and we'll start knifing them down. She's a little panicky. A lot of zombies coming at her. She's a little bit worried, but I'm not. I'm not worried at all. I think we're perfectly okay. I think this is a perfectly acceptable amount of zombies. Oop, that's not an acceptable amount of zombies. Maybe it's a few too many. I may have pulled a few too many. If she's panicking, it's probably too many. Especially since I don't have the shotgun. We'll use... <laughs> I'll bust out the, the pipe. We'll try and pipe some of these down. It's gonna just blow through my stamina, but whatever. We need XP, right? We need some freaking XP. Hey, we got a short blood skill up. Yeah, that's what we're after. Back up, back up, back up. Thank you. Lady. Oh. Okay, that's the end of that. Now we get a knife. And we're exhausted. God, it just uses so much stamina. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I fell. Did I lose my bunny ears again? Are you kidding me? What did I hurt? My hand. Freaking heck. Unreal. I lost my god dang bunny ears again. God dang it. I got my sunglasses still. That's that That's that Project Zomboid movement. The movement is a little... Oh my god, she's injured. Alright. That's it for the day. I'm not fighting these guys when I've got that low of... Uh, um, whatchamacallit. Uh, made it. Oh, uh, swing speed, swing speed, swing speed. Where did I fall over? I <laughs> want my bunny ears. We keep losing them. Where did I fall over? Somewhere down here? What? That was real slow. Did it? No? Oh, I don't see them. Oh, I think they're gone, guys. Oh, I screwed up. They're gone. They're gone forever. Freaking heck. Oh, I can't believe I did that again. We're just determined to not have bunny ears. That's all this is. Can't kill nothing either. I didn't see anything. Where did I fall? Unreal. I thought it was somewhere up there, but... Oh, it might be because I've got... Yeah, so we've got 
I've got it set to B now. So if I walk, I, f I think I fell somewhere up here, right? So if I walk through here, keep an eye on the loot window. Bunny ears, bunny ears. I saw him, I saw him, I saw him. They're right there. They're literally right there. We gotta get this pack of zombies away. We gotta rescue these bunny ears. They freaking despawn, man. We gotta rescue them. They're right there. Right in there. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Uh, I got him. I got him. Bunny ears. <laughs> Rescued. <laughs> yeah, I got him back. All right, go back to base. Ugh. Don't do that at home, kids. Okay, I'm back home. I am going to organize and we'll head back out the next day because I think this will be fine by tomorrow. I am back down here. I finished the previous night. Uh, I organized my inventory a little bit. I swapped out bags, so we got the uh, the big military backpack now. Also uh, got rid of my back equipped weapon, and I brought the Car 15 Delta rifle with us. So we got a new toy. We got a new toy to uh, bop some zombies with. Uh, of which we are going to attempt to do, unless I get harassed by all these zombies coming up on us. I wanted to head over there. It's got injured rather relatively fast, so uh, I'm going to try to tack this day on as well to the to the previous episode since I went and got myself injured. Uh, but yeah, I, I fished fished quite a bit. Um, got like four fish. Didn't skill up. I thought I was close to skill up. Well, close-ish, but did not skill up. Uh, got a bunch of calories out of the deal. Uh, not enough to go up and wait, but you know how it is. So I've got this gun. Should we use it now or should we use it later? We should probably use it later. So I, I, I double-checked before coming here. Um, I do have my swing speed back, so no problem on that front. The water collector, rain collector, that is by our crops is actually empty, so I can't wash myself. And I forgot while I was over at the river to wash myself, but I have been trying to wash myself uh, quite a bit more since we've been over at this base. Should be another goal of ours to collect more, collect more uh, uh, garbage bags and uh, build a few more of those bad boys. Oh, there's quite a few zombies here though. This would, these would be good, easy, easy pickings for the uh, rifle, but well, Wow, get some freaking kills, man. Yeah, our backpack, cap our capacity has gone up quite a bit with our newfound backpack here. Um, but otherwise, the things we need to do are basically the same. I almost wonder if we should just give up <laughs> trying to find a generator magazine and just, just go with, you know, Trying to level up metalworking like we discussed a few episodes ago because it, it feels like we're never going to find the stupid thing. Uh, and just focus up on a few other projects rather than clearing. Uh, but I really thought, you know, I really thought at some point here. I mean, for this episode, we're going to go over here and we're going to fight zombies. But I really thought at some point, at some point, we would catch a break and we would find a sledge or we'd find... Uh, if I to use a generator, you know, something along those lines, but we just have not been lucky. Oh, hey guys. Just have not been lucky, you know? See, the Zomboid is kicking our butt at the moment. We're just not finding the things we need to find. Come on, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Just gotta get my butt over here. These are, I want to say these are packs of zombies that may have followed us over. They may not have. Who knows? We're playing on 16x zombies, so there's just gonna be <laughs> zombies everywhere. But we did have an awful large group of zombies, kind of. Someone behind me? Oh, there are someone's behind me. I also didn't put my knife back. Uh, the... Desert Eagle is ready to go. 
I believe all the magazines are reloaded. I might actually be wrong about that. So gun wise, we're good to go. Uh, we just gotta. I just really don't want to fire a gun right here, you know. I've been saying that, but does it really matter? I'm freaking fighting tons and tons of zombies. Does it actually matter whether we fire a gun here or not? We clear out these apartment complexes anyways and just move targets to one of these since uh, we'll need clear department complexes to collect nails. Because one of the things we're going to need to do at some point is focus on a garage. Uh, it's just, it's real hard to pick a pick a goal and focus up on it because we just, everything is so rare in this particular game. We just don't have access to things we normally have access to. Normally I'd be like, let's go to a hardware store and grab, uh, you know, nails and we'll be good to go. But heck, in this game, we could walk in that hardware store and there'd literally be like a tarp. And that's freaking it, man. That's, that's it. Are there any more of these guys? Wow, we're... Oh, no, I was down here, wasn't I? Oh, here's a pack of zombies. Small pack. Of, a small, it'll... Saw a little itty-bitty pack of zombies. We take, we got, like, four. Four. Yeah, we'll just leave him. He saw me, but it's a little too late. Uh, I need to... Let's, let's throw the uh, cheapy, cheapy knife on our belt. I could have picked up that other Desert Eagle from that uh, police officer. Wow, how many zombies did we pull with us? Look at all these guys. How many zombies did we pull out of that compound? They're just everywhere. That's alright. Jackie's got enough love for everybody. She does not mind. She does not mind. You can all come to Jackie. It's okay. I'll take care of you. Fear not. Fear not, my zombie friends. I will take care of you. Okay. All right. All right. Let's, uh, let's get on down up in here. Got a pack of zombies in my way. I was uh, not really paying attention. I was kind of looking. I was kind of just just looking at uh, my skills, and then uh, almost walked right into them. Rather silent group of people. These zombies, you know, probably how they should be, but still a little weird. All right, that was rude. Cheap knife is out. The cheap knife sucks. It's lower damage. It's probably still more durable than the regular knives because it is a modded weapon. Generally speaking, modded weapons are just better baseline than uh, everything else. That's just how it is. Not much we can do about that, but... Lead pipe. Um... Well, there is an army helmet that got knocked on the ground here. Generally speaking, the army helmet's a rather good item. It's a very low insulation, high protection helmet piece. But usually when people play Zomboid, it becomes this... This, uh... How geared can you make yourself in army equipment, so... Uh, we are going to attempt to not do that, even though we are using the backpack. But the backpack, come on, you gotta give me a break on the backpack. Because the backpack is, there's nothing like it in the game. There's nothing as good. So, we gotta have that, right? Hello? Oh, she's in there. Okay. Oop, oop, oop. Catch. Sure didn't make it very far, did we? Dev Skull's playing Zomboid. He's always playing Zomboid. Here we go. Although he was saying his speakers are broken. I wonder if he got it fixed. One behind me. Let me uh, just sprint over here real quick. We really disrupt the zombies by firing that gun. They're everywhere, huh? 
We really made a mess of things. It was nice and peaceful through here until we went and fired that uh, magnum. Now suddenly, now suddenly there's zombies everywhere that wanna wanna bite my butt. We're just about there, I think, though. I hope this episode isn't too long. I apologize if it is. It's probably going to be long because I've included a second day. But, all right, we're here. Let's see what... Oh, I think this thing is silenced. Does it got multi? I think it's got multi hit. Yeah, it's got multi-hit. Uh, eight shots left. I've got a few magazines for this thing, so it's okay. So, these rifles... The best way to go about this is to try to do a twirl. Actually, it's kind of the best way to go about any particular gun. You want to do a, a twirl. Because if it's got a multi-hit, you need them lined up, right? So the silencer is not that quiet because the zombies are coming from far. I'm actually wondering, is the gun actually silenced? Because look how far they're coming from. That's a pretty good distance. I like that. Because sometimes the game, when people mod in silencers, they make them literally silent and they're not silent. They should make noise and they should pull zombies. Zombies that are in a silent world listening for any given noise, they should be... Uh, attracted to us firing these guns, you know? Let me back up just a little bit more. Jammed. Get out of my way! Shoot the ones in front of you, Jackie! Come on! Please, Jackie, please! Shoot the one right in front of you. Please, please. Jackie, I swear to God, if you don't shoot the one that is right in front of you. She's got these like curved bullets. This is that wonderful, wonderful Project Zomboid shooting. Makes no sense at all. Look at him, look at him coming. Oh boy. Yeah, the I don't know if this gun is actually silenced. If it is silenced, uh, it is just a little bit. Because we are pulling zombies from all the nearby buildings. Please. Please. Jackie, please, I'm begging you. Shoot the one in front of you. Shoot the one I'm aiming at. Thank you. I've got one more magazine after this. I'm, I'm surprised we didn't get a uh, skill up. Last magazine. I'm really surprised we didn't get a uh, aiming skill up. Jammed. Jackie, I hate you. I hate you so much. I hate you so much, Jackie. You are such a butt. She's such a butt. Such a butt. She's determined to not shoot the one in front of me. Determined. Absolutely determined. I think she hates me. I think... Oh, that was weird. I stopped moving. I think Jackie actually is suicidal. But I think in a game like this, you got to be a little bit suicidal, right? Like, oh, I'm getting the uh, panic trait. How many zombies are following us? We 
shouldn't be getting the panic trait. Unless there's a metric ton of zombies following us, but I don't think there are. Uh, just bad, bad aiming all around. Bad aiming. Should be doing a lot better than this. That's better. We're getting a little bit better here. Missing a lot of stabs and wasting a ton of time killing. Okay, I need that hunting knife. Ooh, two hunting knives. How convenient. Um, I should probably go over here because this is likely where all of my friends are that uh, I have pulled. She's got a knife as well and didn't follow me. Cheap. Leave that. Da, 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 da. So I've got uh, magazines. Oh, these are all loaded, right? No, there's actually two that are not loaded. Let me load those now. I'll forget. I'm going back over here and just to, just to double check what we got going on. Okay. All right. I'll pull that out as well. So the uh, Desert Eagle is ready to go. Yeah, here's the group. Okay, so we definitely didn't pull them all to us. Come on over, boys and girls. So that particular gun, the one we just used, the, uh, was it M15? Car 15 Delta rifle uh, acted like it was silenced, but we pulled a lot of zombies. So if it was silenced, it was probably the inaccurate silence representation because the silence are still going to make a popping noise and attract zombies. Uh, but it was actually pulling so many zombies that I wonder if it is silenced as in the sound that fired that we heard was silenced, but the weapon is not actually reduced in uh, sound radius, which could be. That could very well be a possibility. Uh, either way, what I was going to say is that gun, um, I never looted ammo from it. We've yet to loot an armory in this game. The armory we found was behind bars that we don't have access to. Uh, so basically, uh, all the magazines that I had for that particular weapon, we've just found on other <laughs> zombies. And that's all that's been. Um, I'm going to go back to base uh, i'm gonna just scope out how many zombies are over here because this is where we kited through so there might be just a ton of zombies just kind of hanging out vibing over here somewhere no not really someone's behind me though there she is okay yeah so we do have someone here. um because i have a feeling this episode is gonna be a little bit long so i'm gonna i'm gonna end here soon i'm gonna kill some of these guys uh, and I'll just, I'll just spend the day uh, working on a skill. Probably do a little bit of um, mechanic work or something, since uh, we're getting desperate for a vehicle because we're spending so much time coming over here. Whoa! Oop! 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 Okay. All right. Pulled a few more than I thought were here. We are now exhausted. What is the name of that? I always say exhausted. Exertion. I guess it's kind of the same. Moderate exertion. We're panting. She she went up and down a few few uh, stairs. Is that what is that guy doing? Do you see that? Hello? Oh, there he is. He didn't have a back end. I thought he was just a torso crawling around on the ground. Super weird. Super weird. Oof. Oof. Brutal. We are just... Blowing through the stamina. I might actually have to go back to base because I am uh, about to kite into where there is another pack of zombies.
Plus we're getting tired. We're getting oh so tired. Did not die though, so that is a bonus. We're doing fine. And we got some gun skill, gunplay in there. Used a bunch of ammo. Found out that Jackie is able to curve bullets through the zombies in front of us to kill zombies behind that one. Although, maybe the zombie just didn't have a... Maybe the bullet just went through the zombie. Zombie can't move it, you know? Hey! Knife broke on the last zombie. How convenient. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to uh, just drop off here. I'll go back to base. I'm including the next episode on the end of this one because it was a rather short episode. It was only eight minutes long, which felt weird uploading in eight minute video. So, uh, yeah, enjoy. Hey, guys, welcome back. Here we are. I am down here uh, on my way back to the areas we've been clearing. We still have the same goal. We are still trying to find a generator magazine. We're still trying to push into that compound. A uh, few things happened because the previous episode I ended uh, half a day. So I spent a little bit of time skill grinding. Um, I just leveled up mechanics to the first one. Uh, I am using the auto train mechanics, so it goes a little bit faster. If you don't know, you could walk up to a car uh, and right click it. And uh, hit auto train mechanics, and your character will automatically go through the stuff. Uh, it will attempt to auto fail for the uh, skill points. But um, that's what I did. And because these vehicles are vehicles that I don't care about, I just kind of. You can speed up time in single player. So uh, we just max out the uh, time, cruise on down through there, and I was able to get a point uh, relatively easy. We are on 2x XP. I also got a point in cooking. Um, and we did not get a point in fishing. I did spend some time fishing. We still haven't got that point in fishing. That's all right. It looks like there's a group of zombies over here, so we'll kill them. I think there's also another car over here. Another thing happened last night before I got the point in mechanics. Uh, while I was running over to fish because I still had time in the day, uh, we have survived long enough to get desensitized. That popped up. Yep desensitized do not reach states of panic we are professional zombie survivors now i just heard glass breaking what is going on hello huh so I'm not a huge fan of speeding up time i did it up top now up top uh, kind of near our base, there's a uh, like a Bronco, a pickup truck, and an old van. Uh, I did it up there because up there I have fired the gun a ton of times, and we just there's no zombies up there, uh, so I wasn't afraid of speeding up time. Now down here, I'm a little bit afraid of speeding up time because I feel like there's a bunch of friends that want to come and say hi to us while we're uh, down here messing around so uh, speeding up time is not necessarily the best thing we can do with our lives if i was to say myself we have um actually managed to go somewhere we we've never been i've never been in that building so let me open up the map i got a friend coming over come on map map jackie map map where are we? So this is where we are right here. So this is an area we have not been in. Um, this also says there's a food market here. I'm going to actually, let me, um, let me adjust in my seat, get ready here because we're going to, we're going to poke our head into that food market. So like I said, the things we are, oh boy, that's a lot of zombies. The things we are after, come on. The things we're after, generator magazine, we need book chances. Um, I also want to clear out apartment complexes because we are going to disassemble furniture because that's the only way we're going to get nails, sadly. So we need to think of the future. So we need to clear out some of these apartment complexes. But that food market, I have come across markets before that also sell some hardware. I think it was in Louisville. I might be wrong. 
Uh, I might be thinking of Raven Greek, though. And... Wow, we are not doing great, are we? Wow. There we go. Uh, but we might get lucky and find, like, a box of nails or something in one of those. Which should be... Man, hey, there's a car. That's the car I was actually looking for when I ended up back here. So this is where speeding up time is a wee bit dangerous, but... I'm not going to speed up time. I'll show you. So we have the auto train mechanics mod. So you come in here, open it up, right click, train mechanics. And your character will go through this checklist of things to do. Obviously we're missing wrench, lug wrench, jack. We don't have those things. I have the lug wrench, but the lug wrench doesn't... I'm pretty sure I have the lug wrench, but the lug wrench doesn't matter unless you have the jack, and we don't have the jack. So um, she is going to uninstall stuff until it's done. Uh, and for this car in particular, we're missing all the lights. So those are mostly, it's missing the lights, it's missing the battery. It's probably missing the radio. No, the radio's there. So it uninstalled the radio, glove box, etc., and then it paused the game. It's great. Highly suggest it. Of all the mods out there uh, that you are playing with or thinking about playing with or thinking about you can't play without, uh, add the auto train mechanics to that list. Uh, it is such... A pain in the butt, such a pita, to go through the process of leveling mechanics, especially if you are playing on a lower XP rate like we are. If you're playing on two times or vanilla XP rates, oh lordy lord. And we also don't have, oh there's another one of those bats. We also don't have uh, a mechanic skill to start with, so we're just straight out baseline it's going to take forever to level you got to click you got to scroll through the list click the light uninstall the light scroll through the list click the light install the light install the next light uninstall the next light uninstall the rating you do the h vehicle with this one it automates it does it on its own you can speed up time in your single player world and it'll pause the game when you're done it's easy oh man i just highly suggest it we need that where's that bat where did I... There it is. That makes three of the... Oh, we're going to kill her. That makes three of those. So I'm thinking at some point here we're going to be leveling... Uh... Come on, guys. We're going to be leveling uh, Longblood. I've got, I want to say, three crowbars, which that's a lot on its own, um, especially with our maintenance skill level, which is pretty high. I want to say it's pretty high, aren't we? Maintenance? Yeah, we're at level 5 maintenance. Uh, closing in on level 6. Uh, those crowbars are going to last forever. Issue is uh, stamina management. But since we've got three of those friggin' bats now, man, I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe we ought to check it out. Check it out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Could be some good stuff. Those bats are great. They're literally like the best weapon in the friggin' game. Just uh, and fo focusing on. Oh! oh no! Oh no! I'm so disappointed in myself. <laughs> no. Oh, we're in that building.